Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to another Rage video where tonight, ladies and gentlemen, National Anthem Reaction Time once again. And my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, have I picked just about the best, one of, one of the best ones for you because... It's a very interesting one, and well, it's interesting that it took me really this long to think about covering it, but we are going to be covering uh, uh, the national anthem of Germany. Now, theoretically, one of the great things about having to do uh, these sorts of videos is the idea that, once again, we get to like reflect and bring out the very best that each nation really has to, has to offer, because... It kind of makes sense that actually through what we've covered so far, there's been a lot of national anthems that reflect the idea that there's something undisputably brilliant about um, each nation that comes out through its uh, through its history, through um, what it what it mean what it probably would mean to be a member of each nation. Also about the ideas of like maybe, again historical historical accuracy and historical um, importance, and also just try to sell the idea that there's something undeniable about each one, and that's something being a, a very recurrent theme through a lot of these. But also, when it comes to the case of Germany, it's very curious because to be honest. I wasn't necessarily sure how I'd even begin to describe um, a lot of uh, feelings towards Germany because it's one of the few countries in Europe I have yet to visit. And that's kind of strange because just from looking at all these, these castles and um, is this is this meant to be Frankfurt? Because it looks like just the, the Tyne Bridge multiplied by three and it connects to this enormous station. It looks like the most, it, it's somehow the most whimsical and the most uh, technological advanced uh, country in all of Europe. And I, and I mean, and again, from an architectural point of view to from from past to present, it's a beautiful sight. And just look at all this. And even just like cities like, uh, is this uh, just, let's just, just, where are these places? And I know, again, through combining classic you know, Neo-Georgian features uh, along with slightly more 19th century uh, the approaches to architecture. And, oh, it's Stuttgart. I, I, I mean, guys, look at that. The, let me see if I can just get a bigger picture for, for Stuttgart. Um, five reasons. If they could get rid of this text, but look at that. What? That's the library? Look at that, guys. That is the cleanest looking library I've ever seen in my life. There's not a speck of dust anywhere. And, oh, and oh my god, we, we go from o an OCD's idea of pornography to what might be a car. In look at that. Is that a Porsche Cayman? It, that look, I mean, the, the, the finish, the, the sequence how clean, how organized. Mm. Just that looks beautiful. And I'm not even the, I look at the cup holder as well. It's literally right beside the console right here. Um, And of course you got like the, 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 the timekeeper up here as well. I, I'm again, I'm not necessarily the biggest Porsche fan in the world, but that was, um, that was amazing. And it's it it also brings me into a bit of a, like a very large discussion about uh, almost like my ideas about Germany as a whole so far, because I know that uh, Germ like in terms of how Germany is run, I think it's like a combination of like different states that's all like come together. I and again, German politics is going to be a very different like feel to talk about uh, like well more modern politics I would say. And because, of course, you get here with all the German states and I, I, I do know I own a um, and of course, you can see Berlin is in the state of Brandenburg down here. And I do know I have like a, a small German dictionary that which is going to be useful because when it comes to like doing the uh, the translation for this video, I am going to be um, speaking in German, perhaps the very first time in my life. 
So it's going to be a very interesting exercise. And I mean, let's see if I could just get into something right now, like um, Gleshich, which means face, or Stoff, which means fabric. Or let's try something a bit more. Um, let's try. Let's try. Let's try some uh, some strong verbs. Let's <laughs> strong verbs. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, okay. Ich atme durch atmest. Ich werde atmen durch west atmen. Which means obviously I breathe, you breathe, I am going to breathe, you are going to breathe. What a wise culture indeed. <laughs> and of course, ladies and gentlemen, like I've kind of made the point to emphasize a few times throughout these videos is that um, the idea of food and again, with the thousands of ideas of bratwurst, so just to name an example, um, more than exceptional uh, brands of beer. I'm pretty sure, I, I know there's quite a lot of different varieties like Italian beer and, well, I don't know if Hobgoblin is technically like, Euro, is English or not, but I know there's some very strong uh, German beers out there in lagers that, to be honest, again, if I start like doing tasting, like doing tasting uh, foreign delicacies on this channel, I'm going to buy myself a tankard, like maybe an Iron Maiden tankard, and just go for it. Speaking of just going for it, you may also remember that actually I've covered quite a lot of German bands on this channel, which, again, considering how many there are from Scorpions to um, Storm Over Susie or something like that, or even uh, Rammstein, which is sort of one of those bands I haven't necessarily thought about like covering for any other reason than there's just so much to get into. But we will get to that, ladies and gentlemen. There's always time for this. And combined all of these things, you would almost be surprised to learn that actually I think Germany is just is so incredibly diverse in its culture, its cuisine, its sport. I mean, let's face it, uh, German football, German football clubs from um, Munich to uh, Borussia Dortmund, the, the, the caliber of talent and potential is quite unlike anything across Europe, with maybe the only exceptions being possibly Spain and France and England as well, and the Italians. <laughs> well, if if... I don't know exactly if, like, you could fit, like, rugby or cricket up there as well, because, ironically, I would have thought Germany absolutely would have been a part of, like, the Six Nations, like, the, the famous uh, rugby tournament, but that, that them's besides the point. What is more to the point, ladies and gentlemen, is that if you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves, links will all be in the description down below. So let's all rise, ladies and gentlemen, for the National Anthem of Germany in three two, one, and...
I, I again, I, I, <laughs> I like that a lot, ladies and gentlemen. I, I love the heartiness of it. I loved how, basically, if you if you didn't have any idea that half the words were basically Germany, well, there's your answer right now. Um, I also love the fact about um, it seems to be, with everything I've just said so far, it seems to be one of those one of those cases of where they're trying to put everything ahead to like leave the world and you can almost say um it's taken to the view of arrogance a little bit where they say germany germany above above all of the uh, in the world i however like to imagine it's only because they are so very good at what they do i mean their car industry for example vw audi uh bmw porsche and Mercedes as well. I mean, think about just how many German cars you see people driving all over the world every single day. I mean, Volkswagen is literally the car for the people. It kind of makes sense. Never mind the fact that, uh, hey, actually, there's this beautiful, usually whenever Christmas time happens around here in the Northeast, we do get quite a lot of uh, food stores which actually do sell varieties of German bratwurst. Maybe I should like buy a couple of these and actually try them out because out of the varieties and again, the varieties also depends on like which state, which uh, state you're in, that they, they, they could uh, vary uh, massively, including there's like, I think curry ketchup for varieties of bratwurst and it would also have to, you would also have to probably have the right beer for that sort of occasion as well. And considering that I don't particularly know much about, like, you know, um, what Oktoberfest is supposed to be about, but I do think it's pretty interesting. I mean, it's got to be very, very interesting about exactly what to know is all about, what it's all about. And I do really like the fact, even I'm just, I'm just literally going through um, all of the comments here right now, just as we're going through this. I do love the fact that actually people from all over the world are coming in from uh, from Nigeria, from India, from Italy, from France, all the way down to, again, let's see if I can find uh, Canada and probably even as far south as maybe from Japan as well. There is actually something profoundly nice about the idea of actually people coming together and to applauding the idea of music and it's something that again it's something that binds a lot more people together than we care to admit because it sounds really really nice and they there is you can obviously you can't say these people are not uh, there's a sense of patriotism doesn't come through because they are very proud of what they've achieved and there's good reason to respect that It's uh, it it's uh, it's come on leaps and bounds, ladies and gentlemen. Probably as far as uh, the collapse of the Berlin Wall, perhaps. Maybe that's what that comes down to. In fact, actually, you could even argue that it was be maybe because of the Berlin Wars when ideas started to uh, you know change again. But that's a that's an encouraging thought and something again I always try to bring out in these is the best of every nation into this because. Again, we should be learning how to work together, not fight each other. I could say that much. So anyway, I hope all of you guys have enjoyed this reaction video to uh, Der Stoichenland, the national anthem of Germany. Please make sure to uh, leave all your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys felt of Germany's national anthem for yourselves. And I cannot wait to see all of you guys again in the next video. Take care and bye bye for now. Glad you could make it to the end of the video. I'm super glad you cared this much.
If you could do me a great favor and like this video and subscribe to my guy right here. He didn't want to say it himself because he knows I say it way better. Till next time. Mwah.